The delivery dates of Social Security Benefit Payments Also, fourth stimulus check $1,400 stimulus check specifically focused on Social Security including Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA Beneficiaries, RRB, Low Income, No Income, Fixed Income Beneficiaries I have got all the details right here in this video, all you need to know. So, let's get right into it. Now, we all know that politicians love to make big promises in order to keep attention and support. Now the real question is, can they actually deliver on stimulus check? How deep will the recession need to be in order to send out stimulus check? Recently I have been seeing a lot of reports suggesting that as far as the current data, current figures, economy is likely going to slow down dramatically in the next couple of days. This is due to the actions of the Federal Reserve, rising high inflation, the raising interest rates which will further cause the economy to contract. Also guys, if the economy does contract at the rate some people are predicting then you know what the likelihood of arriving those stimulus check will increase now we have seen this happen in the past time during the recession in 2000 2008 and year 2020 all of these recessions they have all produced uh, some sort of a stimulus check now first of all let's take a look at the recessions of 2000 2008 and 2020 you know what all of this recession we were in a deep recession and all of them resulted in stimulus check when issued so it seems like that the next recession if it's as a just deep as those previous ones then the same situation may repeat history may repeat now the big question is how deep will the recession need to be in order to send out stimulus check and you know what if let's say if it's just a shallow recession then in that scenario will a stimulus check might be sent out or not you know what guys in the case of a shallow recession where economy quickly recovers in that scenario congress and government do not see any sort of a reason to send out stimulus check but you know what but if we see a deep recession like those we have seen in the year 2000 2008 and the 2020 the past history like we have seen in the past then stimulus checks are very likely and here is the thing guys as far as the current data current figures of the economy how the contraction is we can clearly see we are about to enter into the deep period of recession if let's say one of the parameters into economy let's say jobs interest rates the inflation if any of the numbers numbers get worsened over the period of time and then there is a possibility that we may enter a deep period of recession but you know what guys if let's say economy quickly recovers from the shallow recession that we are in currently right now then you know what guys the possibility of stimulus check could be denied in that scenario also the other issue is inflation many people think that inflation is high and stimulus check can be issued as of right now but this isn't necessarily true because you know what let's say economy is crashing burning what government will do well they need to do whatever it takes to save the economy and it doesn't matter whether the inflation is high or whatever the thing is they have to save the economy that's their primary goal that's the primary focus so what would they do you know what they'll do whatever it takes to save the economy and this one includes printing of trillions and trillions of dollars and plumbing it into the economy sending out stimulus check they don't really care about the inflation if it means saving the economy Economy. All right, guys, so let's disclose Social Security SSI SSDI benefit payment schedule. No delay in your SSI check. So, guys, continue to watch out post February 2024 right here on to the Thursday. It would be completely normal day. So, all the SSI recipients do check out post February for your supplemental security income checks to be deposited in your bank account, mails, or direct deposit. All right, then moving forward, the next important date we have got is actually the 2nd of the february now who will be going to receive the payments on 2nd february well this is for all those group of beneficiaries who typically have received their payment on 3rd february of the month 3rd february 2024 now 3rd february they are simply not going to receive their payment on 3rd february because it happens to land upon saturday saturday is a weekend therefore you'll be going to receive your payment on 2nd of the february on friday so if you have received your social security before may 9th 1997 are somebody receiving both social security and SSI then continue to check out your social security payment paid out on 2nd of the month 2nd February 2024 talking about the next group of recipient well right here next week is kind of a empty uh, nothing much going on you can see four five six seven all the dates have nothing much happening but after exactly after a week later guys on to the 14th of the February you'd be going to receive your payment 
payment, the fixed income benefits for those group of beneficiaries would typically receive their payment as per the birth date. So, who will be going to receive their payments on 14th of the February? Well, if your birth date lies between 1st to 10th of the month, then continue to check out 14th of the February for your fixed income benefits to be deposited in your checks, mail, direct deposit or bank accounts. Moving forward, let's check it out the next important date exactly after a week later. So, on to 21st February 2024, you'd be going to receive your benefits. So, if your birth date lies between 11th to 20th of the month, then guys, continue to check out 21st of the February. It happens to be landing upon the third Wednesday of the month, which is a completely normal day. So, guys, continue to check out the third Wednesday, 21st February of the month. If your birth date lies between 11th to 20th of the month, and moving forward, the next important date is the fourth Wednesday of the month. So, if your birth date lies between 21st to 31st of the month then guys continue to check out the fourth wednesday and let me show you the fourth wednesday the exact date so the fourth of the wednesday happens to land upon 28th of the february exactly after a week later so continue to watch out 28th of the february if your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month now i'm pretty sure you'll be wondering when federal level fourth stimulus check will be delivered to you i'm watching certain key indicators to help predict when they will be delivered and some of these are including interest rates, federal reserves, inflation, the jobs market and unemployment rate. Now there is definitely some help on to the state level. You know what? States are giving out stimulus check whether it's tax refund, energy assistance, home assistance, energy assistance, utility assistance, tax refund. History repeats itself. History tells us the truth. In the past we have seen divided congress come together and support American people during these financial crisis so it doesn't matter whether the congress is divided are they working in union the truth is that congress comes together when they know the impact of the stimulus check is absolutely necessary and it's essential for economy to recover if the right circumstances arise they will be going to likely act once again to send out the stimulus check now let's focus on to the current state of the economy you may have heard about the various reports into the news economy is showing signs of distress banks are collapsing and this this could be an indicator of a larger financial crisis ahead and we have seen countries intervening and rescuing these collapsing banks however guys it's likely putting a band-aid onto a problem the actual problem is much deeply rooted right here into the economy which won't go away by simple band-aid fixes the cracks into the financial system the roots of the problem are still there and the situation needs to be carefully monitored assessed, and then needs to be resolved as well the good news is actually bad news when it comes down to to the federal reserve and their concern about the inflation now let's take a look at from a federal reserve's perspective federal reserve also known as central bank and its chairman jerome powell they closely monitor the state of the economy and to them a good news into the economy like low unemployment and healthy economic growth means one single thing inflation is too high and strong economy makes it challenging for inflation to come down and that's why to address this issue federal reserve takes action by tightening their rip onto the economy and raising the interest rate now what kind of an impact that will have onto the consumer well you might be wondering how does this affect you me as a individuals as a normal household as a normal american well here is where it hits our home as the federal reserve raises the interest rates it puts pressure onto the consumers take for example credit card balances for example the average interest rate onto the credit card has risen nearly 20 percent up from the last 16 percent a year ago now this simple little change makes it hard Harder for the consumers to pay off their debts and increase the overall consumer debt. Now let's take a look at low unemployment. Is it good news or bad news? Although low unemployment rate may seem like a great news on a first sight, the Federal Reserve sees the thing differently. They look at it from a perspective as a sign of an overly strong economy, and this resulting in higher wages, excessive demand for workers. Consequently, Federal Reserve sees the need to slow down the economy, leading to more aggressive interest rate hikes. So we should pay a our close attention to the Federal Reserve's action onto interest rate policies because those interest rate policies and what called quantitative easings are the key indicators how they are managing this situation. Essentially putting stimulus check into people's bank account into economy abroad. Although it's a flawed system, the tool they have used before may be used once again. Now unlike the previous round of stimulus check tied to the COVID-19 pandemic, you know the situation. This check has designed to aim and to revitalize the economy but this this time it's entirely different as it won't be 
economy around the COVID-19 relief. Instead, there will be an effort to bring economy back on the track in the current potential financial hardship. Into the past, we have witnessed similar stimulus checks happening during financial crisis like the great financial crisis when economy takes a hit and these checks becomes a tool to support the American people and businesses. The current employment data is a rising concern despite the reports of the job creation. Large corporations are announcing significant layoffs and the numbers don't simply add up. And you see how data manipulation happens. This probably suggests there is a potential manipulation happening right over here. There might be some inaccuracies in reporting those job losses. Now to effectively stimulate the economy, it's very crucial to focus on low income recipients. Many studies show that they have higher tendency to spend the all those cash stimulus check which drives the economic activity very rapidly. So therefore targeting low income individuals with the relief checks can have a substantial impact to revitalize the economy. If you talk about the $1,400 stimulus check sent out in early 2021, the check wasn't directly related to COVID-19 relief as it was more like a general payment. The exact reason behind those stimulus checks sent out in early 2021 are not entirely clear. Nevertheless, people received those stimulus check and you know what who cares once you receive the money who cares we are all happy about it regardless of the specific purpose but here is the crucial point the next round of a stimulus check if there is a next round then it will likely serve a different purpose altogether it won't be for another covid 19 relief package because covid is already gone instead it will be more likely focused on revitalizing the economy considering the current inflation or bringing down the economy back from its current state now we have seen the similar kind of a situation into the past where great financial crisis happened and during those economic challenging times we have received those stimulus checks. You can think of a recession as a great reset. You can think of recession as a reset for our economy. When economy experiences a significant downturn, it can actually help bring down the inflation. Now trust me on that, a recession is actually a good thing. You could say it's a reset for our economy where end of the one chapter begins the another one. Now who wants to keep paying higher prices for groceries, other everyday items, necessities. Definitely I don't want to pay higher costs. I know about you, you don't want it either. Therefore, it's essential to understand the reason behind this stimulus check might be different but the primary goal is to address economic challenges. For instance, in year 2000, stimulus check was issued to tackle the financial industry's collapse. While in the year 2009, it was aimed to combat the real estate market crash. What about year 2023-2024? The current indicators are pointing towards the possibility of another financial crisis. What might be the exact catalyst for the next stimulus check is still a question. We have observed these cracks into the financial system, into the banking sector and Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes. Those could be the contributing factors contributing more to the instability. Additionally, there are inconsistencies into the unemployment data and with such reports, both of the job creation and the significant layoff into the large corporations. Well, all those important key indicators raises a very important concern and suggests that economy is not standing onto the stable grounds. As a wise person, you don't want to jump into the conclusion too quickly and speculate about this manipulated data. Therefore, it's essential to keep eye on the situation, all those key indicators as well. If the financial situation deteriorates further, then Congress might resort familiar pattern of passing substantial relief packages that includes another round of stimulus check to support American people and our entire economy. If it materializes, it will be likely on economic recovery rather than COVID-19 relief. The main intention is to revitalize the economy, boost the consumer spending and stimulate the overall economic activity. Many of those historical events showed that such stimulus check can be very effective tools in times of financial crisis as those stimulus check comes to rescue very rapidly. They inject a bunch of money directly into the people's hands, into individual businesses, encouraging individuals and businesses spend more money. So you really have to ask yourself is the next round of a stimulus check is on the verge is on the horizon or what's really going on what it means for you and that's where it brings us to the next round of stimulus check now i'm pretty sure you'll be wondering when federal level port stimulus check will be delivered to you well unfortunately there are no delivery dates set as of right now nothing has confirmed however while deciding federal reserve looks at the economy and they determine how much stimulus does the economy need how much money is required in order to help people recover then the money is then printed out and pushed into the economy.